In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to stop procrastinating in your life and get things done. Let's rise. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Today's episode is about how to stop procrastinating in your life and get things done, part one. So let's get started. Take the fuss out of what you're having for dinner using Rising to Be's Grocery Gladiator Printable Bundle. The customizable meal planner helps you to prep and plan your meals ahead of time. And you can even add links to your favorite Pinterest recipes to try out for later. Use the shopping list custom categories to never forget anything while shopping for your groceries. Keep track of your exercises, daily steps, water intake, body measurements, and other fitness goals you have throughout the week and month to track your fitness progress using the Grocery Gladiator Bundle. Bundle. Three unique color options to choose from. Available now at RisingToBe.com and on Etsy. Hello everyone, I'm Christine to Be Rising and welcome to the Rising to Be Show, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be, helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired so that you can reach your goals. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week. So be sure to subscribe as a riser so that you won't miss anything. We currently are on the road to 1,500 YouTube subscribers, and I'd love for you to be a part of the journey. Shop for workbooks, printables, and stickers at risingofbe.com, and shop the Women's History Sale and save 30% off your entire order only at risingofbe.com. And last but not least, this episode would not be possible without the support of our Rising to Be patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. Tip one, hydrate yourself. Yes, I know that everyone on the internet says to drink an enormous glass of water to start your morning. But in this episode, I'm suggesting that you just drink something, anything. Why? Because dehydration is a very real thing. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go to get a big gulp of Dr. Pepper from your local gas station, but things like a morning smoothie infused water with lemons or cucumbers or even a crystal light packet if you're craving something sweet that day. The point is that when we start our day, sometimes we are often rushing to get somewhere and get started with our day that we even kind of forget to check in with ourselves. And be sure to download my Five and Thrive to-do list printable to help you thrive every single day, no matter how hectic your schedule gets. My Five and Thrive to-do list allows for me to truly take control of my day by simply doing five to-do list tasks that help me to improve myself for the better and thrive. These five tasks don't have to take a lot of time out of your busy schedule, but they're big enough to make an impact. Tracking things like writing my daily affirmations or goals, reading a book or listening to a book, getting active for 30 minutes a day and listening to a motivational podcast and writing in my gratitude journal. I even use my planner to track these daily goals and simply shading in the tasks that I have completed for the day. Now, I'm not saying I'm always perfect every day, but I do get pretty darn close. And this allows for me to build discipline in myself and stay committed to my goals. What five goals will you track? so that you can thrive every single day. Start thriving today with my Five and Thrive to-do list tracker, available now at risingtobe.com. Tip two, stop the regrets. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek, Barack Obama. Once you have faced your fears and did it while scared, it's important that you don't feel regretful for not getting started on one of your goals sooner by thinking of all the time you held yourself back. You are only holding yourself back further. I'm not saying not to think about that regret, but to instead think of it as a place you never want to return back to because you know that you could have done it sooner. By sitting and thinking of every single mistake or regret you've made in your life, you will end up missing the present and the future of your life. Because after all, we cannot change what happened in our past. We can't change what we did or even what happened to us. All we can do with our past is let it go. Will it be easy? Of course not. I'm trying to work through some things from my own past at the moment. Not everything can just be easily let go. Sometimes you have to get a professional who isn't directly involved in what exactly you need help with. By having access to someone with experience, they can give you tactics to apply in your life. So that way you can let go of regrets and past hurts and focus on what really matters, the present moment of your life. Tip three, avoid the snooze button. Delete those millions of alarms you set for yourself. 
All this does is disrupt your sleeping pattern and confuses your body. And it simply just drains you. Instead, you should set a realistic time to go to bed and avoid getting on your phone before you even lay down. So that way you won't spend the night scrolling away. In order to get out of bed, you have to give yourself a good reason to get up in the first place so you won't press snooze. You can get up earlier so that you can do your morning meditation or even your workouts, writing in your gratitude journal and working on a side hustle or business plan. No matter what you do with your extra time, it would be wasted if you never got up when your alarm rang. Tip four, making every minute matter. It's important that we are aware of how we spend our time. It is highly crucial to our productivity and decision making. As you become better at managing your time, you'll become more aware of what is stopping you from getting things done and have more control of your day. It will allow for you to have a more balanced life and making the most out of your 24 hours in your day. You can also check out my hourly time block printable to help you find more time in your day to increase your productivity Activity so that you can get more done, which is perfect for daylight savings time. Time blocking allows for you to manage your time and split your day into blocks of time. Take control of your day and how you spend your time. Finally, get everything done on your to-do list by scheduling the time for every task you have and accomplishing it, and only that for that block in your day. By having your day blocked out in advance, you won't have to wonder what task to focus on next. You'll just move on to the next task and complete it. Check out my hourly time blocking printable today at risingv.com, now including 100 plus stickers to help you make the most out of your day. Tip five, being accountable for your results. In order to get better results in your life, you have to become more accountable and understanding your responsibility for how your day turns out. If you're a visual person, you can use a tracker to track your success of the goals you are after. Make a personal mission statement for yourself to stick to so that you can have a true purpose for improving your life for the better. Ensure that it is highly specific with reasons for why you want to improve. It's not a love letter or a poem. It's just a clear chance to get real with yourself. You can also create a system of accountability or even getting an accountability partner to help you stay on track. Tip six, screen free. Now this tip goes out to me specifically because sometimes I have a habit of spending a large chunk of my morning just mindless scrolling on Instagram and of course TikTok which are both equally addicting for me. I've been trying my best to make a conscious effort not to click on them. But one thing I've recently noticed about me is that if I open one of these social apps, I will likely open another one, and so on. So what I have been doing to try to rectify this issue is shutting off the alarm from my phone that has a math problem on this app called Alarmy. And I solve about three math problems while walking to the bathroom, which instead puts me in a mind frame of starting my day instead of leisure time on social media. Tip seven, do it scared. By changing nothing, nothing changes. Tony Robbins. Look, in order to get real results, you're gonna have to do it scared. Stop thinking about how that action makes you feel and instead focus on where you'll be once it's done. You can't see your progress if you don't get started. Look, I have started my blog, YouTube channel, and even my podcast completely scared. And did it start off perfectly? Absolutely not. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know it did happen through every single halfway decent blog, YouTube video, and of course podcast growth, and of course progress. I have been able to make 100 plus videos on my YouTube channel, and from a lot of my first videos, my voice is shaky while breathing quite heavy. And as far as my podcasts go, I have reached over 75 plus countries every single Tuesday. This is just the beginning. I would have never been able to make any of this progress if it wasn't for me leaving my comfort zone. So when are you gonna leave your comfort zone? So by this time next year, I wanna hear about everything you were able to accomplish by choosing to do it scared. And yes, I know that while you're working, you may stumble and that is okay. It's part of the growth process. Use a tracker like my accomplishments workbook, the ultimate progress tracker, and a celebration to your success. And especially the small successes for when you can't exactly share your baby step progress on a major goal yet. To keep track of everything that has gone your way while working toward your goal or your goals. Shop the accomplishments workbook today in several different colors and start keeping track of all of your progress and accomplishments. 
Tip eight, craft the vision. Change is inevitable. Growth is optional. John C. Maxwell. Look, if you have finally found your purpose or meaning in life, then it's time to build a vision around it. This is highly important. It helps you stay focused and of course, ignore what may try to get you off course from the goals you set for yourself. I even have a past video on how to build the best vision that actually works and I'll be sure to link it so that you can get started. And before you ask, no it doesn't have to be January 1st to make a vision board. It's your life. You can choose when you want to change it. Tip 9. Find a meaning or purpose. Change your thinking. Change your life. Ernest Holmes. Take some time to discover what you want or like in life, free from others' influences. During this process, you don't want to make any decisions based off of what others have said or the horror stories they've shared with you. Finding your purpose or meaning is for you and only about you. It's a personal thing. Not everyone needs to know when you're first starting out on this new journey of self-discovery. Why? Because this opens the door for others around you and those you know to make fun of you for even trying. Or even say that you must be going through a midlife or even a quarter-life crisis. But even if it is... That's your business, not theirs. Maybe you want something that makes you wake up and jump out of bed instead of hitting snooze because you actually hate your job or even your boss. What kind of dreams do you have for yourself? What goals in life have you always wanted to achieve but never believed you could? If that goal still matters to you today, then go after it right now. And if you are tired of living in regret or in the pile of what ifs that you wished you'd done, no matter what gives your life purpose or even direction, all that matters is that it fulfills you. Besides, without having a meaning or purpose, you'll end up wandering aimlessly through life without much passion, direction, or even focus. So find what you need in life. I'm sure you'll find it. YouTube commenter. Lamar Old, using old and previously read books is a great way to spark inspiration and creativity. Thanks so much for sharing. Thanks so much for your comment, Lamar Old. Tip 10. Enjoy learning. When we learn new things, we are able to gain more knowledge. And by having more knowledge, we become more confident. Discovering and learning new things allows for us to become more adaptable to new situations and challenges that may arise. Learning new things allows for you to also be more creative and innovative in your thinking and problem solving. And even reading is a great way to learn new things. There are so many books out there that can help you learn new things which result in improved productivity. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them rise to be who they want to be. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip. Tip one, hydrate yourself. Tip two, stop the regrets. Tip three, avoid the snooze button. Tip four, making every minute matter. Tip five, being accountable for your results. And tip six, screen free. Tip seven, do it scared. Tip eight, craft the vision. Tip nine, find a meaning or purpose. And tip 10, enjoy learning. Do you want even more Rise and V in your life? Then join the Rise and V Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from, starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic and of course you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier two has access to monthly wallpapers. You get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers. They get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic. Early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store, Rising to V. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from. I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review which tip you'll be using. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising 
And before I go, I just want to take a moment to thank Elise W and Rose W. Tier 3 patrons, this episode would not be possible without the support of our Rise and Be patrons and channel members. Thank you. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, Risers.